A ray of light incident normally on one face of the right isosceles prism is totally internally reflected as shown. This is the diagram. It's a right isosceles prism. Two sides equal, 45 degrees each, 190 degrees. It's perpendicular to one of the face and it's getting totally internally reflected. Turning by 90 degrees. Now, the question is what must be the minimum value of refractive index? Remember, the minimum value of refractive index is being asked. The key formula for this question is refractive index is the reciprocal of the sine of the critical angle IC. In this question, the angle of incidence is 45 degrees. From the geometry of the figure, this is 90, this becomes 45, this becomes 45, so this one also becomes 45. 90 minus 45 is 45. So, mu is equal to 1 divided by sine IC or critical angle. Now, one more thing that we need to know in this case is 45 degrees is the critical angle. So, if the critical angle is greater than 45 degree, then only the total internal reflection is possible. So, what does this mean? This means simply means that the critical angle, if it's less than 45 degrees, the light ray will not get totally internal reflected, rather, it will refract. Now, sine of 45 degrees. Remember, under history school, you have done this. Sine 45 degrees is 1 by root 2. Clear? So, if we put this in this expression, sine 45 is 1 by root 2. From these two expressions, it's very clear that the refractive index must be greater than root 2 or the minimum value of this refractive index is equals to root 2. You can relate these two, this relation, this relation and this. Therefore, the minimum refractive index of this prism should be equals to root 2. Anything greater than root 2, then total internal reflection takes place, else it refracts.